Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Will Deion Jones move on from the Browns in free agency? Browns linebacker Deion Jones met with the Steelers on Monday, according to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. The Browns traded for Jones early in October, also receiving a 2024 seventh-round pick. Due to a shoulder procedure he underwent in the offseason, Jones didn't play a single game with the Falcons during 2022 and was activated off the injured reserve list 12 days after arriving in Cleveland. Originally, Jones signed a four-year contract extension worth $57 million in 2019 with the Falcons. But once Andrew Barry traded for Jones in the early part of the 2022 season, Barry basically voided the last year of the contract to allow Jones explore free agency. Jones, 28, was looked at as a veteran for the defensive unit. But his performance during the season wouldn't amount up to the aggressive linebacker he's known to be. Through 11 games, Jones recorded 44 tackles and 2.5 sacks, three pass deflections and a forced fumble, which came about early in the 28-14 season-ending loss to the Steelers. Jones recorded a 48.5 overall grade and 39.0 run defensive grade, according to Pro Football Focus, along with a 44.7 tackling grade and 14.9% missed tackle rate. Those were better than his 2021 grades. Jones recorded at least 100 tackles in five of his first six seasons with Atlanta. The Steelers are interested in hiring Deion Jones. The Baltimore Ravens suffered their second setback of the last three weeks in a sloppy road loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers in Week 5. On a day where the defense played lights out on all but one drive, some uncharacteristic but familiar mistakes by the offense led to their ultimate demise at the hands of their AFC North rivals. Here are some of the top takeaways from the Ravens' Week 5 defeat in which players in all three phases had inconsistent performances. The Ravens devoted a lot of resources to overhauling their wide receiver depth chart this offseason. Through the first four weeks of the season, the ones that have been on the field were reliable and helped the offense thrive with explosive plays. On Sunday against the Steelers, Lamar Jackson would have had another career day had it not been for the litany of costly drops by several of his most trusted pass catchers. And you fan, what do you think of the Deion Jones situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.